What's up guys, Matt Richard here. Time for another edition of Alternative Shred. So we're in part two of our three-part legato tapping series. Legato tapping. We learned in uh, part one how to take our basic C major scale and apply the legato tapping concept where we swap the third finger of the three note sequence with a tap. all hammer on from nowhere. We're gonna take that and apply that to pentatonic. This, in my opinion, is where things really start to get fun. So let's, uh, let's use D minor pentatonic just to sort of mix things up and keep the tonalities, uh, you know, a little more interesting. All right, we got our regular old two note per string pentatonic shape. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do the same that we did in part one and add a note with the right hand. Now with pentatonic, it's a little interesting because it's normally a two note per string pattern. That's what most of us are used to. Let's add a third note onto the two note per string pentatonic scale. And we're just gonna play the next note that would always be in the series. So we got D, F, and G. Then we have G, A, C. What happens here is it gets a little interesting. We get some unison notes, but that's okay because that's actually kind of cool. Okay, but what if we didn't want the unison notes? Well, as you saw in the opening lick, uh, the, what I like to do is skip string. I'm just playing the three number string sequence, but I'm using just the E. Uh, D and B string. Okay, that was actually the first sequence in that opening lick. Okay, the next step that I also used in the opening sequence is to take it up to three note per strings, which is normally what, you know, that's what we did in part one. But we're gonna, actually gonna play three notes per string and then add a fourth. What this does is this gets the unison note thing out of here and actually makes it a true pentatonic scale. Now we're playing the pentatonic scale in four notes per string, and we're gonna have to skip a string so we don't get unison notes, but we're gonna actually have a straight D minor pentatonic, but tap it. Okay, that's one of my favorite licks. Uh, I have a bunch of permutations to that thing that we'll sort of go through as we go through these lessons, but that's one of my favorites because it really starts to not sound pentatonic anymore. I mean, it certainly still has that flavor, but it's very arpeggio sounding. You can also play pieces of it like that. I like to just ascend. Just change the top note. That has a real cool sound. You can certainly mix it up. That opening lick was basically this. I played the three note per string version first. Right? Very cool. You put it all together. I get some really, really cool stuff happening. So play around with that. Again, we're taking plain old D minor pentatonic. Adding a tap. Three notes per string, then we go to four. So work on that, have fun with it, get the pentatonic thing down, work on the three and four note per string version. And in the next lesson, we're going to take it a step further and sort of combine these ideas and we're gonna add some more fingers on the right hand. So it's gonna get really, really fun. 
Uh, look forward to doing that one with you guys. Again, Matt Richard, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're enjoying this stuff. And I will see you guys for the next lesson. Peace.